Hi there people, um, this is my uh, 2014 Royal Enfield Bullet 500, it's the uh, EFI electronic fuel injection version, unit construction engine, UCE otherwise known as. Now I've had this one, yeah, getting on for a couple of years now. Uh, the guy that I bought it from um, complained he was a, a slightly elderly gent um, and he, he said he can have trouble with it, it sort of stutters as you try and accelerate and it, well yes it does I mean you put that on the advert on eBay which really kept the uh, kept the bids down on it because I only give two grand for it um, which I was very pleased with now I've done the, the modifications to it that everybody tells you you should do which is uh, have a, a nice um, basically gold star style exhaust from um, Hitchcock's with obviously without the uh, restrictions that the original comes with um, when you look at the original it is literally um, half as long again and it actually weighs a ton stuff full of uh, catalytic things I believe um, so what we've got is we're gonna have a little go with one of the uh, eliminators of for the um, Lamba probe here which um, um, I think it's sports bike store or something, sell them on eBay, I'll, we'll get the pack out in a minute and have a look. Um, the, the connections for it are tucked up underneath the tank, uh, you know, and you can only just get them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen a couple of bolts on the tank, or take, take that one out and loosen the back one, and sort of tilt the tank up a little bit and see if we can get to it and change that. Well, here we are as the, uh, the unit that I've bought and it comes from. Redline Superbikes, um, and really what it is, if you look, there's uh, underneath that heat shrink there, there's a couple of little resistors, and uh, when you uh, have a go at measuring them with your test meter, I, my, I could only put my hands on my little... When I finally managed to uh, get the uh, meter probes in on the uh, connections there, and you have a look, it's 200 and, yeah, probably 220... 230 ohm resistors, both of them are round about the same. I couldn't bother to go and get my digital meter out, it'll give you a slightly more accurate measurement. But the whole idea of it is really is that that little plug forces the um, ECU, controls the fuel in, uh, to throw a bit more fuel in and richen it up a little bit. Because these bikes, they do run hot, and they definitely do stutter when you try and pull away from uh, you know, a junction or something. Taking the the tank out of the bolt up there, bolt out the tank rather, speak English. Unfortunately the paint was already chipped. Um, the actual plug, you can just about see them up in there with the aid of a torch, so I'm going to have to fiddle around with that a little bit, pull that out and plug the, uh, the uh, little plug thing in. Oh, there it is, um, plugged in there. I have to say it's difficult to unplug the, the uh, original Lamber plug, which is just there at the back. Um, that one doesn't go in very well, but I think I'd be inclined to put a tie wrap or something around it, small tie wraps, I've got some tiny ones, um, to keep it in place, because I don't think you'd want that falling out when you're riding down the road. I can uh, see that or not, but I've put a little tie wrap around the plug, a couple of lugs in the plug, to uh, keep the uh, eliminator plug thing uh, from falling out when you're riding down the road. Well, you have to say that the hesitation that was there doesn't appear to be anymore. A little bit there. But, I mean, to be fair, the uh, the bike is cold at the moment. Well, it was running probably an hour ago, but... Not too bad, so I think what we'll do is we'll uh, take it for a spin. I'll put the bolt back in for starters. Uh, in the tank, take it for a spin and see what we think. Tools required for this job, 17mm spanner, small screwdriver, 3.8 ratchet and little extension bar, 14mm uh, socket, little pair of grips and a small tie wrap or two to hold the plug in. Yeah, after taking them for a bit of a run. Pretty much the uh, hesitancy that, that used to be there is gone. It's certainly a lot easier to ride in the traffic, stopping and starting and having to quick try and creep along. But so there we go. I think um, 
I think we'd call that a good fix. Job well done.